I know you're doing something in, in my expertise. Epic fail. This is why we wear aprons. Turn around. You got some on your butt too. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. I'm Allie, and as you can see, we have invisible Mama McManus yet again. We were supposed to film today together and then just things got messed up and scheduling conflicts. So instead, I thought that we'd push the video idea that we're gonna do today for another day, and I would show you guys how I make my favorite vegan lemon chia seed scones. I kind of, the past couple of weeks, have become obsessed with scones and like researching how to make scones. Then before non-vegan, I was like, well, there's gotta be a way to make a vegan scone as well. I played around with a couple of different recipes. I think I've nailed it on this one. The reason I'm doing lemon and chia seeds is actually because usually people do poppy seeds, but I didn't have poppy seeds, and then I looked in my cabinet and found chia seeds, and I was like, huh, why not? But yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how I make these scones. They're really simple and easy to do. They aren't the healthiest thing, but they are vegan, and they do have chia seeds, which are superfoods, so, it's good for me. So if you guys want to see how I make my vegan lemon chia seed scones, keep watching. So the first thing that you want to do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees, and then we're gonna prep the dry batter ingredients. Okay, so the first step is to add in two cups of self-rising flour. After you've added in your flour, you wanna add in two tablespoons of sugar. Then you wanna add in the zest of two lemons. After you've added in your lemon zest, you want to add in a tablespoon of chia seeds. Then we're just going to mix this up. Okay, so this next part is pretty important because we don't want to overmix the batter, so it's good to prep everything that you're going to do after we've mixed it. So basically, you just want to line your countertop with some flour because we're going to pour in a cup and a half of coconut milk. Mix it just a couple times till it's combined. You do not want to overmix it. I've overmixed it before and it makes the scones, uh, scones, 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 makes the scones really tough. So you kind of just want to have everything prepared so once you do mix it, you can put it onto your countertop. You're going to want to roll it out till it's about one inch thick and then we're going to cut it into triangles. Although I do want to say that you can also get little cookie cutters and cut them into different cute things. I've seen Jillian Harris on her blog cut her scones into hearts. That's really cute and I probably would have done that if I had a heart cutter. Anyways, I'm going to line my countertop with some flour now so we're ready to roll out our dough. I guess I should have shown you guys that. Yeek. Now I'm just going to add in a cup and a half of coconut milk and again I'm going to make sure that I'm not over mixing this. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put this onto our flour. Just going to kind of knead the dough so it's not too sticky. And don't worry if it's sticky right away, just add more flour in. Okay, so while your scones are in the oven cooking, you're gonna wanna prep some sort of icing. So these scones, you can actually put jam on or butter or whatever you want in the morning, but I thought it'd be nice to do a little lemon uh, icing. Super simple, not really a strict recipe. I'm just gonna get a half a cup of icing sugar here. I'm gonna add it into my bowl. And then with our lemons that we have left over that we zested, cut open one of these very carefully. Here. Don't worry, mom, I didn't touch the countertop. And squeeze the juice of it into the icing sugar here. So 
I mean, I would just eyeball it for right now. Try not to get any seeds in as well, like I just did there. Don't squeeze it all in right away. Kind of just squeeze and mix. You want, if you want a thicker icing, obviously you don't want to use a lot of lemon juice, but if you want a thinner icing, use more. So see, this is still pretty thick for me, so I'm gonna add in some more lemon juice. Well, I'm happy with that, so we're gonna set this to the side. And we have about nine more minutes till our scones are ready. Make sure you, when you take your scones out, you let them fully cool before you ice them, because you don't want the icing just to melt all over the scone. Okay guys, so I just took the scones out of the oven, let them cool, and then I iced them with the sugar that we made earlier, and they turned out really well. They're nice and fluffy and big, and they rose exactly how I wanted them to. I'm going to dig into the scone now, my lemon chia seed scone with a lemon frosting. Oh my god. It's so good, guys. It's like fluffy and it rose and, uh, and the lemon icing on top is really, really nice. I think also it tastes good with like a strawberry jam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try out these scones. They're super simple to make, as you can see. I'm gonna go take the rest of my scone and watch Go More Girls now. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday and I promise you Mama with Manus will be in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and we, I and my mom, will see you next week. Bye guys. Oh my god, it's yummy. Scones are also just like a really freaking easy and good way to impress someone. Like if I ever stayed over at someone's house and maybe woke up in the morning and They'd whipped up some scones for me. Mm-mm-mm. Probably pay another visit.